enterocolitis, and inflammation of the colon and small intestine. However, most conditions are either categorized as enteritis, inflammation of the small intestine, or colitis, inflammation of the large intestine. It may be caused by various infections, with bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, or other causes. Most common symptoms are, frequent diarrheal defecations, vomiting, abdominal pain, fever, chills. Enterocolitis may be caused by bacteria, Salmonella, Shigella, Escherichia coli, Campylobacter. Viruses, enteroviruses, rotaviruses, Norwalk virus, norovirus. There are different types of enterocolitis. Pseudomembranous enterocolitis. Also called pseudomembranous colitis, dash caused by bacterial infection Clostridium difficile. Symptoms include watery diarrhea, fever, nausea, and abdominal pain. It makes up about 20% of cases of antibiotic-associated diarrhea. For treatment vancomycin or fidaxomycin by mouth is the typically recommended. Salmonella enteritidis enterocolitis. Caused by bacteria of the salmonella type second most common foodborne illness in United States. Caused by eating unpasteurized or undercooked egg products, raw milk and milk products, drinking contaminated water or improper washing of the hands after handling the previously mentioned animal reservoirs. Symptoms are diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramps and vomiting. Occur between 12 hours and 36 hours after exposure, and last from 2 to 7 days. Sometimes the disease is severe especially among children and immunocompromised patients. Treatment, electrolytes oral rehydration supplements, typically containing salt sodium chloride and potassium chloride. Antibiotics, such as ceftriaxone, may be given to kill the bacteria, but are not necessary in most cases. Necrotizing enterocolitis, NEC, typically occurs in newborns. Symptoms may include poor feeding, bloating, decreased activity, blood in the stool, or vomiting of bile. Necrotizing enterocolitis is the most common life-threatening and abdominal surgical emergency of the gastrointestinal tract in the newborn period. Affects premature infants in 90% of cases, major risk factors include low birth weight and sepsis, congenital heart disease, respiratory distress syndrome, and maternal cocaine abuse. Treatment consists primarily of supportive care including providing bowel rest by stopping enteral feeds, fluid repletion, and parenteral nutrition. Antibiotics if needed. Prognosis is good in 70-80% cases. Hemorrhagic enterocolitis. Hemorrhagic enterocolitis occurs due to a bacterial infection. Caused by Escherichia coli, E. coli, bacterium infect the intestines, producing a toxin that damages human cells. Hemorrhagic enterocolitis characterized by severe abdominal cramps begins suddenly along with watery diarrhea, which may become bloody within 24 hours. Some people may also experience a fever. If bacteria enter the bloodstream, the infection may spread to and damage other organs. The diarrhea usually lasts 1 to 8 days. Fever is usually absent or mild but occasionally can exceed 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 39 degrees Celsius. About 5-10% to of people with hemorrhagic colitis develop a severe complication called hemolytic uremic syndrome. Diagnosis Stool tests, hemorrhagic colitis is suspected when a person has bloody diarrhea. Stool specimens tested for strains of E. coli with the toxins they produce. Treatment Drinking fluids Sometimes fluids by vein. Sometimes so much fluid is lost, then replace fluids by vein, intravenously. Antibiotics are not recommended because they actually increase the risk of developing hemolytic uremic syndrome. The disorder eventually goes away on its own.